What's going on, everyone? It's the True Jordy back again for the next level football league. We are back for match day eight with London City once again taking on league leaders Hashtag Academy, AFC Colossal, looking for back to back wins against an out of form Mongolian horses and second place Hashtag United facing Copa 90. Right, let's get into it then. It's London City versus Hashtag Academy. In the last match between these two, London City were murdered 12 0. So just bear that in mind. Tekaz Guru takes it from midfield, plays it to Adji on the left hand side, who looks to beat his man and work a shot. He has done, and it's saved by Fabian Bortez. Plays it into the middle, Fleming into Leroy here. Leroy looking up for options. He probably can't make out who's wearing which kit, but he's now got Aaron on the right-hand side. Keeper saves, and it's cleared by Hashtag Academy. Aaron plays it in, but it's picked up by Pateman. Tekas Guru, he's got it on the left-hand side. He's looking to work a shot. Sends his man the wrong way and curls it into the top corner. The Tekas Guru starts as he's been playing on fire. The Guru is brilliant at sending people the wrong way, creating space and getting the shot off. Leroy in to Aaron, out to Fleming. Fleming looking to cross it in and it's wide. The Guru with the corner ball and it's saved by Bortez. But it's straight back to the academy here and the Guru can work a shot in off the bar and it's cleared by Fleming. Smashed it off the ball. Leroy to Milad. Milad looking to work some space and it's saved by Sean. Aji. Great turn of pace on the lad and he sends him the wrong way again. Leroy can't tackle him, but he has been fouled here. There's a free kick. Tekaz Guru with that silver streak in his hair like Grease Lightning. Looks to play Aji into space and it's smashed into the back of the net. 2-0 to the Hashtag Academy. That wall wasn't exactly effective, was it? Yeah. Milad plays it to Boltwood with a shocking touch. Leroy can't control. It's given it back to the Academy, but the keeper has given it straight back to Aaron. He crosses it in brilliantly. What a header, what a save. Finally, some good football. It went from awful to fantastic in the blink of an eye. Lovely touch. And Boltwood's got to clear, but no, he doesn't. He sends through Adji. And luckily for him, Bortez makes the save. Milad to Leroy. Turns his man brilliantly. Oh, and he's done a couple of them, but they cleared it. And Pateman comes away with it. It's Adji. Adji's got options. He's got Pateman on the overlap. Finds him. Can he get into the middle? He's got the shot on. And Bortez can't save. It's another one for the Hashtag Academy. You're not in the first team, though, lads. Shouldn't really be hashtagging it yet. Do you know what I mean? Wait for the call up. And the guru. Curls it over. Bryden miss kicks it completely. And now Aji and the Guru are through. But Aji's just completely miss kicked it. Food and drink for Bortez. Oh, big Stampy making his way forward. Helping out with the attack. Aji takes on two men. Wins it back with just sheer athleticism there. Plays it into the middle. It's defended well though. And Leroy now can start a counter attack. He's got Fleming on the overlap. He's got Milad. He's going to shoot. He has done. Keep our spills. Milad can't clear up. But Pateman sliding in means it's a penalty to London City. It's 3-1. And the London City have a ray of hope. And the old Eiffel Tower, Adam Boltwood, gives it away again. Milad picks it up though, and there's a chance here for Leroy. Keep our saves. It comes to McKenna. He falls over, and Pateman clears. McKenna tries to get on it, but he 
kind of do anything again. And Aji takes it away with ease. McKenna chasing shadows here. I thought he'd be fitter than that, considering how skinny he is, to be honest. But it's in the back of the net. That's it. McKenna chases the ball all the way back, and now he picks it out of his own net. The tech has guru. Let him know who's boss. Yeah, the lads, you know, they try hard. Do you know, that's the main thing. It's all about the participation. And that is the end of this epic, nah, you know, decent level football match here. 4 1 to the Hashtag Academy, who remain the leaders of the pack. And now it's time for AFC Colossal versus the Mongolian Horses. AFC Colossal start their attack here with AK, who's been so efficient lately. He plays it onto the left-hand side. The shot is on. AK, and it's over the bar. Good start, though, by AFC Colossal. Mongolian horses looking to try and get some dignity back in this game. I can't remember the last time they won a match. AK storms down the left-hand side, using the step-overs. Creates some space. Has a shot. It's deflected. Nice goal kick up here. And Colossal can't claim it. The Mongolian horses do, though. Nice touch into Matt Stevens, who takes it on the right foot. And he smashes it in the bottom corner. And I have no idea what the footy writer was doing for that shot. I'm not really sure what happens with the footy writer here. It was some sort of yoga position, I think. And known Palace fan Jim Daly Takes it on his left peg, makes the keeper make a save. Uh, you know, he needs to listen to my advice more often, that lad. I told him ages ago when they signed Pardew for Palace, it was a hiding to nothing. He didn't believe us. I was proven right. Jake Stevens is going to put pressure on the footy right. He does. Footy right has passed it straight to Navasi, and Navasi's banged it in the top corner. Footy right is having a mare. I mean, what, what is going on? I, I mean, it's a good assist, to be fair to him, but... Yeah, and that is downward facing dog now from the footy writer. Loves a yoga position. Good feet, yeah, from Stevens, and he plays it into the other Stevens, who plays it to Heiser, and it's a save. It's actually a save from the footy writer. Good one at that. Well done. Colossal, play it down the right hand side into a. K, who's going to try and take his man on he does so and it's a great save that was fantastic looking for options gets the cross in but the horses clear up nicely and now the counter attack could be on here down the left hand side Colossal are getting back in numbers but he uses his strength and the footy writer makes another save I think this kid's on a road to redemption the Mongolian horses pick it up on the left-hand side, looking to create some space here. Colossal getting back in numbers. But Wells steps up and he hits it. It's in the back of the net. Even with all those numbers, Colossal could do nothing to stop that. Jake. Stevens picks it up, the counter-attack is on if he can move quickly enough, and he does so, and Stevens, the other Stevens, gives him the ball back, he dinks it over the keeper, the keeper gets a hand to it, but he puts it in the back of the net. That was shades of Robbie Keane in his prime there. 4-0, and Colossal are back to their old selves by the looks of it. AK just trying to see if he can create some magic out of nothing. Plays it into the back stick. And it's in the back of the net. Well done, Colossal. A little bit of dignity restored after what's been another embarrassing game. Conway with a cute little finish there. Jake Stevens steps up with a shot and the footy writer makes the save and then does some sort of somersault. Another one of those yoga moves, I think. And Jake Stevens has found his way through. Surely this is going to be a goal. Sits footy writer down and he blasts it over the bar. He's normally so much better than that. Mongolian horses punted clear and Stevens is on again. And the footy writer comes out with, you know, I don't know what that was to be honest. Jake Stevens has only got one goal today and I'm not sure how. 
AK into the middle. Colossal just trying to work this ball through from Conway back to AK and the save is made by the keeper. And really that was a great chance for Colossal. If they were ever going to get back into this game, they needed to put that away. Inside to Stevens. Lovely little back heel. Oh, it's just wide from Heiser. Throw in from AK. And it's to Stevens, who now can clear. Gives it to the other Stevens, and that's it. It's full time. The final score is 4 1. And the man of the match for this game goes to Matt Stevens, who scored the opening goal and just had a generally great game. And finally, it's Copa 90 versus Hashtag United. Keep our bringing it out past his defenders. Typical arrogance of the lad. Long ball into Mange Dog, and it's missed by Stevens. Throw in by the keeper. Way too hard for the defender. Give him a lot to do there, but Stevens can win this yet. He does so. Vianic comes out. It's round the keeper, and it's a last ditch tackle from Cullen. Although it was a slide, so maybe it should have been a penalty. Corner from Mange Dog into Adams, and it's Cullen again with a save on the line. Long ball on the right hand side here with Copa 90 looking to make it 1 0, and it's just wide. Copa 90 can come away with Timsey here, but he's, he's taking too long and he's dispossessed by Adams. Crosses it in, but Vujanic makes the save. Hashtag can try and work this in again. Saved again by Vujanic. Mackie with the corner in to Adams, but it's just over. Copa 90 with Timsey. Turns his man, weaves it inside, saved, comes back out. Timsey's still got it. He, he just needs to get it out of his feet here. He's taking too long. And that was always going to happen. The lad needs to know when to pass. Hashtag have now got it on the counter attack. Could they punish Copa here? But TJ can't put the chance away. Mange Dog and Coleman battle away, but it's picked up by Adams. Adams gets down the right hand side, he's got options in the middle. Tries to find one, but nobody can get on the end of it. AJW with the long kick up to Stevens. Stevens takes it down brilliantly and curls the cross in fantastically. This is brilliant, but hashtag can it finish it? How on earth did TJ not score here? Off the post and then ends up going wide. Vujanic laughing his head off. Copa 90. Trying to carve open an opportunity here. Timsey brings it down. Plays out wide. Gets the cross in. Header and it's saved. Oh, that would have been fantastic. You don't see many headers in this league. Throw-in by Hashtag United. Play it out wide. It's in the middle to Adams, who blasts over. AJW to Adams. In the dying minutes of the game here. Looking for a chance. Mange dog, and it's saved by the Vooj. The last kick of the game, and the keeper claims. And the big game between Hashtag United and Copa 90 finishes nil-nil with a man of the match going to Ali Cullen for some epic blocks on the line. Let's look at the league table after match day eight. The Academy are now four points clear at the top, meaning they could become the first ever next level football league champions if they win next week against AFC Colossal. And to be honest with you, I've already told them to start engraving the trophy because, I mean, it's a full-gone conclusion, isn't it? As for the top scorers, the Tekaz Guru extends his lead at 12 with a golden boot all but his with two match days to go. And that's it for match day eight. Make sure you follow the Next Level Football League on Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description below to stay up to date with everything Next Level Football League.